Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Today's video is a fun one. It's another playlist and it's hosted by Heidi Sample. The theme is fall, which is one of my favorite seasons to decorate for. This video is also sponsored by Solowood Flowers, but I'll tell you a little bit more about them in just a minute. I can't wait to show you what I've made, so let's get started. For project number one, we're going to be making a book stack. And this is just some scrap wood I had on hand and I gave it a quick coat of Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultramat paint in the color Lemon. And after that was dry, I went in and distressed it with my distressing ink. And I cut out this decal with my Cricut and then I attached it to the books. I finished off this quick and easy project by adding some jute twine and I wrapped it around several times. And I created a bow by wrapping the jute twine around my fingers several times and tying it off with another piece of twine. I hot glued the bow to the top and then I found some of this potpourri type stuff at the Dollar Tree and it had like little pine cones and mini pine cones and I just added a few of those to the top as well. Y'all, this project is so stinking easy and it's really customizable to any type of decor any season. You can create the words by using a Cricut, trace them, use a stencil, maybe stickers, freehand it, and then you can turn little scraps of wood into really cute decor very easily. As I mentioned earlier, today's video is fall themed and it's a playlist that's hosted by Heidi Sonble. If you've never met Heidi or ever watched a video on her channel, she is an amazing crafter and she comes up with such fun and creative ideas. Her channel link as well as a link to the playlist is going to be in the description box below and I really do hope you check it out after you've watched my video. I purchased some wood tree slices from Hobby Lobby for project number two and I chose three pieces out of the pack, one large and two slightly smaller. For the two smaller pieces, as you can see here, I'm painting them using terracotta chalkboard paint. Fun fact, there are wood tree slices in two places at Hobby Lobby, in the his and hers wedding section and then also in the wood craft section. They don't seem to go on sale much in the wood section area, but they regularly do 50% off in the his and hers wedding area, so I got these for 50% off. I chose the largest wood slice in the pack and cut out some fall craft paper to fit it just inside the wood slice. So you, you know, you see what I'm doing. As you can see, both supervisors are on duty to make sure I do it right. And I attached using Mod Podge and I had a little bit too much on the wood slice. So I used that Mod Podge on top of the craft paper. And then I scraped off the excess and set it aside to dry. I had yet another piece of scrap wood and I used hot glue to attach them together so it would be able to stand. And oh, well, there's Captain's tail. Anyway, I used that scrap piece of wood to act as a stand. And once all of that was done, <laughs> I attached twigs to the top of each of the pumpkins to, you know, be like the stems. And I purchased this hula skirt from the Dollar Tree back in probably the, the spring. And I use that instead of raffia because I feel like it's neater and it's easier to work with. I use some stems, some strands to tie around the stems. And then I added a jute, a simple jute twine bow on top of that. I then glued each of the smaller wood slices to the bigger wood slice to form a trio of pumpkins. I trimmed up the raffia and the twine to finish it off. This fall decor piece was simple and easy to make and you can make it any size you'd like. It just depends on the size wood slices you have. I chose orange for the outside pumpkins but you really could go with any color that fits your fall decor theme. Project number three features today's video sponsor, Solo Wood Flowers. I took an embroider hoop that I got from Hobby Lobby and started hot gluing the wood tree slices all around. I did pre-measure, so I knew that they all should fit. I then added another layer of, smi of smitely, slightly smaller wood tree slices on top of that. 
Now the fun part, I have never worked with solo wood flowers before. They have a texture similar to really thin styrofoam. They are very easy to work with and they actually they can be dyed. For this project though, I'm just going to leave them in their natural color because I think they look beautiful just like that. I'm not a professional floral designer by any means, but I just tried to place the flowers down in a way that I thought looked nice. And then I added these like little prickly things. I can't remember what they're called, but they, I just used them to kind of fill in some of the gaps. I got this fabric garland on clearance for 90% off at Hobby Lobby. And I just cut a piece long enough to hang it. And it says, love you a bushel and a peck. Y'all, I think this turned out so pretty. I think it's a good transition piece into fall. And these solo wood flowers, like I said before, are so easy to work with and I can't wait to try my hand at dyeing them. I had so much fun crafting with you today and I would love it if you would put in the description box below which one was your favorite. Thank you again to Solo Wood Flowers for sponsoring today's video and thank you to Heidi for hosting such an awesome playlist. Don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!